Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Many many moons ago, one of my all time favourite games was a game on the uh, Playstation or the Xbox. It was called Exhumed. Now the game has just been released on Steam and it's been called Power Slave Exhumed. I don't remember the name Power Slave. But today I'm going to um, play the game in 3D with Reshade and Super Depth 3D. I'm going to record my stereoscopic image so you can watch the video in 3D in 4K in a VR headset. So basically you're going to watch what I'm playing. I'm going to give you a guide as well how to get this to work in 3D, show you some hints and tips, that sort of thing. Now we can play this game with the mouse and keyboard or we can play the game with the uh, PlayStation 5 controller. The first thing you need to do, you need to go to the Reshade website and go to download. You need the latest version of Reshade. At the time of this video, we're using version 5.0.2. So download it onto your PC. Once you've downloaded Reshade, you need to run the program and it's going to search your PC for games. If you can't find the game in here, you see a look. Then you can always find the game by going to the browse find the exe file in your steam library i'm going to select this i'm going to select on next and this is a directx 9 so we're going to select directx 9 click on next click on next now we need to uncheck everything and you need to select depth 3d and then you click on next and it's going to download all the files to allow you to play the game and watch the game in 3D. In here you need to uncheck all and this time you need to select Super Depth 3D VR and then select next and that's it. Now we need a program to be able to play the game in 3D or watch the game in 3D. Now if you want to watch it in 3D you can use big screen or virtual desktop. I'm going to use virtual desktop to play the game in 3D. So if you've got virtual desktop, you can use virtual desktop to watch my video in 3D or play the game in 3D based on my instructions. First we need to launch SteamVR. So start SteamVR. SteamVR is running. We're going to launch virtual desktop and in here you need to make sure you select half SPS which is half side by side and if you ever see a video on YouTube where it's got like um, two images side by side and it says stereoscopic this is the option to watch those videos in 3D in the VR headset and this is going to allow us to play the game as well in 3D. We're going to run the game now and reshade should attach itself to the game. Click on play, ignore the warning message because we're going to play in VR. Click on OK. I can see the reshade menu at the top so I know it's working. OK I'm going to hit the home key to bring up the reshade menu. In here make sure you select continue, select continue again and you need to make sure super depth 3D VR is ticked, tick that button you'll see the screen change look, click on continue. Now when I hit the home key again I should be able to see the game split into two it's now in 3D. I'm going to start a new game and then I'm going to show you some hints and tips. Now there's some options you need to change as well to get the most from this. So click on new game. I'm going to overwrite my old game. I'm going to play on normal mode.
Okay, so right now, this is all in 3D, guys. I'm using the mouse and the keyboards to move around. And as you can see, it's really, really fast. It's a really old game. Now, you might be able to see an issue there with the, uh, with the dagger lock. Now, if I go to the reshade menu, hit the home key. If I scroll down to where it says weapon, weapon hand adjust lock. You can play around with this until the weapon has got rid of that funny line. If you're watching this in 3D, it looks a bit weird. So you need to find a preset for the weapon to get rid of the line. So weapon preset number two has got rid of the line. If I go back into the game now, that line has now disappeared, look. I'm going to show you my graphic settings for the game. This is in 4K. Now, when you first start the game, there's no crosshairs. So I'm going to show you how to enable the crosshairs as well. Go to Options. Game Settings. Go to the HUD. Crosshair Size. Make sure you change this. If you don't change it, if you leave it on default, you won't have a crosshair in the game. And it's going to be really hard to judge the, uh, the mobs in the game to be able to shoot them. Okay, so I've turned the bob off. Display settings, everything's on the maximum. FOV all the way to the end here, look. So I changed the FOV all the way to the maximum. You can see it changing in the game lot. The more FOV, the more the 3D stands out as well. I also changed the brightness up to 100. It's quite dark look. Advanced display settings. Fixed point geometry on. Mess around with all these guys. I've left them all on their default setting. Video settings, I'm on 4K, borderless window, vertical sync is off, frame rate on 60, and that's it. So you can play the game like this. As you can see, my crosshair is a lot bigger now as well. So there is a gun in the game. Let me go and grab my gun. going to attack there might be scorpions in the in the vases so just be careful this is one of those games when you die you have to um, respawn at a checkpoint I'm going to pick up the gun now you do have limited ammo as you can see I've got the crosshairs now that I can shoot this scorpion here and this game is very similar to like doom those types of games very fast and it's very easy to die as well so keep an eye on your your mana and your health when you kill mobs they will drop orbs that's like a health orb we can shoot these I'm controlling the camera with the mouse We're going to uh, grab all the vases. There might be some power-ups in here, so make sure you um, grab all the power-ups. As I said earlier, guys, you can play the game with the uh, PlayStation 5 controller lot. I need to invert the Y-axis on the controller. Input settings, controller settings, invert lock. Now, strange enough, there's no invert Y for the mouse, which is a bit of a, 
I don't understand why they forgot to put an invert mouse in the game. Apparently that's coming anyway in a patch, so we're going to resume. Okay, we're going to uh, go down here. And this game can be quite hard, even on the uh, normal settings, so I can change my weapon look, I can swing away, try to kill the crab, the scorpion. Kill the blue scorpion. I did die quite a lot yesterday experimenting. Okay, let me change my weapon, shoot these. And you are limited to your bullets, so just be wary. This is not one of those games where you can just go in blindly. As it's very easy to die in the game. Look at this. Now the game has maps and secrets, very similar to Doom. We're going to open the door. Now you guys should have a really nice 3D image to watch. I'm going to show you how to get the 3D even better. And it's all to do with the uh, depth map. Basically with reshade and super depth 3D, the depth map is what gives you the 3D in the game. And we're going to change the depth map to get more 3D in the game. Having said that, changing the depth map will also cause the weapon to look a bit funny. Okay, again we're going to destroy the vases. There's one over here. Okay, so this is the end of level one. Door is sealed, we're going to jump on here. End the chapter. Welcome mortal, I am King Ramses. When my body was laid to rest here, my name was not forgotten. And my so this is one of those games, back in the day, I found all the secrets, I got all the achievements guys, I played it to death. Okay, we're going to move on to the uh, next part of the game. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to increase the 3D in the game. If I go to the reshade menu, if I scroll down here, if I show the depth map by hitting this button here, look, you can see the screen is white. I need to get a bit closer to some objects so that you can see the how this works. So let me just uh, move towards something like here. This tunnel here, look. Okay. Let me try again. Where it says depth map view, here you can just about make out a gradient of grey. It's not the best in the world. I'm going to make an adjustment to the depth map here by hitting these arrow keys. And you should see, you should start to see a gradient in the screen right now. Look, can you see how it's getting like, parts are getting greyer. And you can see the wall there appearing, look. So the darker the grey, the more 3D it is. Now this will only go up to a certain level and it won't go any further. There is a way to go past what you're allowed to go past. I'm going to go as far as possible. So as you can see, we stopped at 250. If I turn this off now, you might be able to see the 3D looks even better. 
So can you see like the 3D looks better now? But my weapon look, I've got that really annoying line again on the weapon. And you can see it here look. There's like a broken line now, can you see that? So I'm going to show you how to make the 3D even better. If I go back to the depth map, put this back on. If I hold down the control key and click in here, I can now add my own figures. I'm going to type in 3000 and you watch the background. I'm going to type 3000, watch the grey. Look at that. So if I turn this off now and go back into the game, the 3D is really going to stand out now. Can you see that? How cool is the 3D now? Is that better? My weapon, you're going to have to um, play around with the uh, weapon hood to try to get rid of the line. Now if I remember right, if I go to um, reshade menu, if I scroll down here to where it says weapons, weapon profiles, I think I had it around 31. You can see it changing a lot. You can see physically the weapon profiles changing. So there's one, you can see it really jagged now. So I'm going to go for, I think it was 31. And that for me was playable. You can see it changing. 28, 29, 30, 31 or 32. Let me try these two. So either 31 or 32 was ideal. Yeah, that's perfect, more or less. There is a line there, but that's not going to distract me playing the game. This is quite playable, guys. So make a note, if you're going to change the 3D depth in the game, you need to change the weapon. Or it's going to look a bit weird. You're going to see like a line. There's like a box around the weapon. Okay, scorpion there. Go away, you swine. Okay, that's some health. So I'm going to play the game with the mouse and keyboard now. I'm now going to remove myself from the video so you get a really nice 3D image to watch. There's more options in here you can play around with. Uh, the divergence and convergence, you can play around with this. This is also going to give you more 3D. Can you see it like changing in the background? That's 100. So that's uh, running at 100. And the 3D is even more prominent now. Okay, let me uh, play the game now. You have to agree with me guys, this game now looks amazing in 3D, with the uh, 3D depth and everything. Okay, we're going to open the door, and there's a bad guy in there, I need to hide from him. He's going to fire lasers at me. I'm going to let some of these scorpions in, and then uh, hopefully that guy is going to stay there, and we're going to shoot him. He's here. Okay, let me get my gun out. And this game can be quite brutal, guys. You can die. You can die very quickly. He's down. Okay, we got a power up for the weapons. Scorpion there. And there are secrets in the game, so there is a way to get up on top of there through here somewhere look and you need to find all the uh, secret entrances and there are maps to find that will show you secret entrances very similar to doom 
I got some health. I would not advise you go into the game guns blazing. Take your time. Because like I said, it's very easy to die. Look. Scorpion there. And these types of games, because of the graphics, they uh, run amazing in 4K. I'm trying to save my bullets as well for the ranged mobs okay so there's a door here look there's a bad guy in there and you have to find a checkpoint to be able to respawn Okay, let's get ready to kill this guy in here. I've got a power up. Shoot the crab. He's going to be right behind the door. He's down. So there's like an area above me, look. Secret area here. It's all about finding keys to progress. It's quite hard to judge the bad guys in 3D. You'll soon get used to it though. There's a certain distance you have to be to be able to hit them. Grab the health. Jump up here. Okay, let's head back. Here's a checkpoint. Okay, I'm playing the game just like I play Doom. More health. Okay. That's locked. We need a, a seal to open the door. So these doors here, look, you need like a, I need like a scarab symbol. Okay, there's a button here, we're going to press it. I think that's opened up this, yes. Oh crap, they made me jump. They're not crabs, they're mites. Okay, grab the health. Okay, we're going to go down. I've not found any seals yet. We're going to go this way. There's a nank in there. We've not been around this way. Shoot these. And stay clear of the explosions. So if I hit the switch, these doors will open. And some of the doors will have bad guys in them, look.
find a map. If I hit the uh, tab key, we have a map of the level now. Look, I'm not going to find all the secrets in this playthrough. Okay, we've got the uh, symbol of war. I think it's this way. There's health there. And there's a secret down below me, look. You get a really nice sense of the scale and height here. Okay. Okay, we made it to the next area. And there's a really cool weapon in the next area. Let's um, escape. If you head towards the camel, you can travel back to areas you've been to before. You might pick up new weapons, that sort of thing. Okay, shoot that. We've got like hawks in this level. Shoot the birds. Save the health for later. Look at this guys. Machine gun. Let's um, get these guys into the open. And this is the level that made me turn my brightness up. It's quite dull, look. Oh, mind him. He's dead. Okay, which way are we going? Ouch. We need the symbol of time. Okay, we're not been this way. Okay, we have the symbol of time. Got some health. So now we can go this way. And we're progressing, guys. Checkpoint. Let me grab the checkpoint. Shoot the birds. There's a bad guy there. Ooh. 
Okay, do not fall in here or die. Okay, we need to get over there somehow. Try. Symbol of war. Okay, this is where we started. Let me go back to the next level. Now, all the level resets as well, so... You have to uh, shoot everything again. We have a machine gun now. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Shorten my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one.